Baby hog do 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 do. Baby hog do 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 do. Hey, dude, this one feels all right. I haven't caught a fish this decent in a minute, maybe. What are we working with here? He's taking us, guys. What's up, guys? Coming to you from the Smith residence during quarantine. We're about to actually get out and go do some fishing with some brand new Guggen baits in the junior sizes or smaller sizes, baby sizes, whatever they're called. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to call them the junior sizes. We've got 4.65 inch trench hogs, 3 inch Kraken craws, and 3.3 inch bandito bugs. I believe the Kraken craws and bandito bugs are normally around 4 inch, and we're going to have a little bit of fun hitting the banks of some local ponds. Thank you to Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, who has said that fishing and hunting are still essential activities during this COVID lockdown, and so we're still able to get out and do some fishing. However, we are still, of course, practicing social distancing, staying 6 feet away from anybody else on the bank or if you're not in the same household with them, just keeping your distance. So we are practicing that. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some fresh new apparel. You see me wearing some Guggen gear. You guys can save 15% on anything Guggen related, any of these products with code Weston at checkout on the Guggen Squad app or website. And I believe since I know it's gonna be a hot topic and a lot of questions after this video, I assume, you can pick these up as far as I've seen only on Tackle Warehouse so far. I'm sure they're gonna be everywhere. Guggen baits are sold at some point, but for now, online at Tackle warehouses where I have seen them so let me go ahead and feed a couple of the pups and then we'll get out to the ponds and uh, try and crank on some fish also I'm figuring out how to dial in the custom white balance so now when I do shots indoors uh, I should have a custom white balance as opposed to auto and I think it's gonna look a little bit better now if I were to step into the kitchen or something the lights get a little cooler you can tell that the white balance is set kind of for like this uh, portion of the room in here the living space with the warmer lights but uh, yeah I'm gonna probably focus a little bit more on those white balance that way the tones look even not too cool blue or too warm orange that's the goal at least so I've got it on a custom preset right now anyways let's get dressed it is uh, 51 degrees this morning a little chilly for me We just pressure washed our patio and then Devin decided she wanted to paint some stuff. So we gotta pressure wash it again. <laughs> Trying to see why this mic is acting up, man. Okay, let's grab the gear. I think we'll take the Camaro today. Got this sign put up. What you think? Gonna have to move the car out of the garage real quick so I can open up the passenger door to finesse these rods in here. Back in there now, we really just got to get the GoPros and batteries and head out. Tossing in the freshly formatted 128 gig card and the Artman battery. And now, GoPro batteries, I think we can get the show on the road. Let's go. Meaning that interest rates are going up, then the lender ends up making money and can use that. Okay, we're here. I see one person walking, I don't think they're fishing. Yeah, see like one or two people on the bank, all right, let's get it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna show you how to rig these things up based on what we have on hand since they are newly launched and a lot of people have not tried these things out yet. Show you a couple different ways you can get to throwing these things and catch some fish. Okay guys, Christian has met me here and it's a good thing dude because he has got some hooks that are gonna work for these uh, bandito bugs and kraken craws and trench hogs. He's given me a small, what looks to be like a two-aught EWG. I'm also contemplating throwing a couple of these baits out on just a Ned style head since they are much smaller. Finesse tactics is what we're going for with these ones right here. Also, the hooks that I normally throw, these probably four aughts that I have on hand, are a little big for the baits. I would go with something like a two or three aught if you could, whether that's worm, EWG, just whatever style hook you like. But uh, you gotta have the right size for these, otherwise you're not gonna be able to text pose the hook into the bait 
you're not going to have enough bait there. The hook's going to be too large. So we're definitely going to Texas rig one of these. I'm thinking the trench hog. That's what I'm the most excited about is this new smaller trench hog. Then with these cracking craws, what we're going to do is we're going to pair these up with some little finesse juicy jigs or some finesse little juicy jigs or little juicy jig finesse jigs, whatever you want to call them. Got this, uh, what is this, rotten pumpkin little juicy jig that I'll pair with these green pumpkin cracking craws and we'll get rocking and rolling. If you want, we'll take what, it out because... Get released. Well, I, I went to the warehouse and they had boxes of them and they told me to take a little bit, but they are on Tackle Warehouse. All right, guys, so here's what we have rigged up. We've got the Texas rigged baby hog, man. This thing looks so good. And actually, one of my four aught hooks seems to uh, size up quite nicely to it. Covers almost the whole body right before the pinchers, which is really what you want. So that way they gobble that whole thing up. And uh, we've got a quarter ounce blue tungsten weight on here. That's really all there is to it. We're not pegging the weight which Christian says is a bad idea here, and I do believe him because I fished this spot before the grass is very heavy, so I might have to re-rig this whole thing with a pegged weight, and that way this weight is not free-flowing and helps get caught in the grass, but stays right there with my bait and uh, can help you get through some cover. Rotten pumpkin. This one would go perfect with watermelon red flake baits, by the way. There we go, guys, the brand new three-inch crack and crawl, the whole thing put on a little juicy finesse jig. All right, guys, so check this out. This is the difference in size between the new trench hog that we just rigged up and the trench hog that is the full size that Christian has rigged. Check this out. Pretty dope, man. Let's get this stuff in the water. I'm pretty pumped. I'm gonna throw the hog first. First cast with the baby hog. The reason I'm saying we should try that side is because when I was here the other night, my catch came from that bank, like right in the inches of water. And the guy that met me, he caught three along that wall and most people were fishing along that wall. And so I was like, well, oh, nope. Oh, that was my first one. First hit on the, oh, I guess we're staying here. <laughs> first hit on the new hog. Oh my gosh. I had him pinned for like uh, three quarters of a second. <laughs> I think at least two pounds. It took a little drag there. Did you hear that? It went, well, we messed that one up. I had him pinned. I had him locked and tightened down. I don't know how I didn't get that fish. I imagine I went for that hook set and the hook didn't penetrate, but it was still in his mouth and he just kind of shook it, opened his mouth and that was the end of it. Wow, what a bummer because I'm trying to catch fish for you guys. And got him, got him, baby hog. Yes, 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 baby hog, first catch ever. Ooh, <laughs> yes, all right guys, that's what I'm talking about. Only a few casts after same general vicinity right off the dock here getting it done baby hog style look at that bait yes yeah they, they might be hitting these smaller baits more is what we're thinking guys because uh christian's rocking that full size the finesse with this cold front that just whipped through might be what gets their attention that is so cool first time ever catching anything on these newly launched guggen baits right here and just working it nice and slow along the bottom like you would a texas rig the benefit of this trench hog is that the tail feathers flap so good you could literally swim this thing and catch fish too it sounds like the main forge in here might even be some shad so this natural color with that silver flash on the bottom if you were to swim this Texas rig, you could still get plenty of bites if they're on a moving bite as opposed to the bottom. Let's get this guy back in the water and try and catch a couple more on the baby hog. See ya. And we got them hook boots, good thing too. We'd be soaking wet in some regular shoes. Okay guys, now here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I could get plenty more catches on that, but I wanna showcase all these things. So let me throw this finesse jig out here for a minute with that new crawl. Remember, this is the whole crack and crawl now on the little juicy. You don't even have to break it down any if you don't choose to. You could finesse it up just slightly, but I, I wouldn't even take a section off of this thing, to be honest. We're gonna see how it fares. Now this grass, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a little bit more challenging. If I don't get a hit on the drop, I got a feeling I'm gonna be getting a lot of grass on the hook here with this thing at this particular location. But I think with some patience, the jig could produce a quite nice fishy. <clears throat> oh, got one. Got one on the jig. There we go. Feels okay. There we go. Hey, dude, this one feels all right. I haven't caught a fish this decent in a minute, maybe. What are we working with here? He's taking us, guys. 
Okay, maybe a two pounder. Sweet. <laughs> the fight was real. <laughs> that was, dude, I, I don't know if I just had a lot of line out or what, but I felt like he was just going. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, guys. That is the first one on the new smaller size crawl on the back of that little juicy finesse and rotten pumpkin, I believe. Uh, almost just like a perfect watermelon red flake coloration, really. Getting it done out here. That is so cool. Second catch for me. And now literally all I have left to catch them on is that smaller bandito bug. Since that's the only plastics I grabbed from the uh, warehouse the other day when I went there on these newer, smaller finesse sizes. Yeah, we're all GoPro right now. I left a big camera at the car, but here we go. First solid fish on the finesse jig. It's a little torn up right now because I got to fix that crawl on there, but that is the trailer of choice on these little guys. So cool that they came out with a smaller version of the larger crack and crawl to go on these uh, little finesse jigs. It really, I think, can make all the difference if the fish are finicky and it's a slower bite like what's happened with us in this cold front. I'm catching them on the smaller baits while Christian is throwing the larger baits and not getting as many hits. So, boom. That's all there is to it, man. Got to get you some of these smaller baits. Remember, Tackle Warehouse is where they are for sale. I still got to try and catch one on the smaller Bandito bug. I might rig that up next. Let's get him back in the water. All right, little buddy. He's off. Let's get some more. I really thought that was like a four pounder. Christian's making a good point, you guys, why I hyped up that fish. I literally thought it was over four pounds easily. Uh, the weight, it just felt so heavy and it was really fighting. And uh, to his point, this place is so grassy, I'm sure that fish just took it and took us straight down into the grass. And so I probably felt a lot of resistance. And then as it gets closer to the bank, there's no grass. So he could just came up out of it. And then I realized it wasn't the size I had initially thought. So there's that. Hey, I'm throwing them new baby cracking crawls. Let's see, how's it look? Look at that little. <laughs> oh, there, that's perfect. That's the shit right there. Bro, this is like a that's, perfect. That's the perfect that's bait. That's like a, like a, like a all year round bait. It's just like perfect size, but there's enough little. To break them claws. I do have a weedless net hook, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll use the weed guard. Probably a smart idea. Well, guys, this might be the first time I've ever thrown a bandito bug as a ned rig i'm gonna throw this thing out like nobody's business though weedless we're gonna see how that works though because i bet i'm gonna be picking up a lot of grass but this could be money right here this is brand new brand new to the game and luckily we're throwing it on a dc reel because this is a lighter bait uh if y'all didn't know we left our spinning rod out of pond and it got stolen so that's on us but the thing is i don't have any spinning gear so yeah finesse on the heavy weight stuff we don't care Got him. There we go. Ned Bandito, finally. All right. <laughs> that gets the slam right there, man. That's one on every one of the new Guggen baits. Smaller size came right off that lighter wire hook, but it got this guy good. Whoop. What is going on here? That Ned hook had him pinned. All right. That is what I'm talking about. 3.3 inch Bandito bug. That completes all of the smaller baits I have, man. We got them on the crawl, on the Bandito bug. And on the hog, you saw different ways of rigging them. We went Texas rig, Ned rig, and jig trailer. We got options with these new baits, you guys. Loving it. Now I might throw something a little bit different. See if we can't get some size out here. Maybe a little bluegill hard bait just for fun. To top off the video, man, pretty exciting. These newer baits, that's finesse size is getting bites when these boys can't reel in nothing. <laughs> yeah. They're catching grass. To, yeah, to their point, they are catching grass. All right, y'all. Let's get this little guy. Woo! back in there all right gang now that was dope we have completed what is probably one of the first junior size guggen bait slams with every one of those that we had remember you guys can pick those up at tackle warehouse and also know that they have a larger size drag and drop available now they have a larger size slim shake they got tons of different colors you guys i think every single guggen bait made now has a different size offering so you can either bulk up or size down to, in today's case finesse is what got it done but some of these fish we believe are quite shallow and on beds and i'm going to try and catch a hog now on something a little bit bigger and just see if we can't finish this video off with the giant we're gonna go ahead and toss around the jackal gantrail you'll have seen it before on the channel let's see if we can't put something together yeah oh got him oh got him whoo first one on the jackal gantrail <laughs> oh god First one on the big swim bait. Uh, no, I don't need to get off the phone, but uh, I got him with two hooks. Let me grab these pliers real quick. I'm gonna get this thing back in the water real fast. <laughs> oh, you got some? Boom. 
Oh, look at that, look at that, swoosh! <laughs> I'm throwing out this big bait that looks like a bluegill, like it swims just like a, you know, a fish. And this bass just came up and smashed it right by the bank. That was cool. First one on the swim bait, but we're hoping for something bigger. Let's get him back in the water. Tournament, an online tournament? I win some money. Whoa, you just missed a big one. Bro, he just came and ate the tail, bro. Oh. Yeah. All right, thanks for letting me use the pliers, Bryce. Here you go, six feet. All right, we're practicing social distancing, even when we're handing the pliers over. Go on, little kiddo. There he goes. <laughs> oh, another one just came up and tried to eat it, dude. That was awesome. Oh, look at that snake. Mm. Oh, there's one right here, too. Yeah, there's one under this rock, and there's one in the water right here. Ha! There's two snakes right he's, here. He's just hanging out right here. Yeah, 14 snakes over here. Bryce got them. A little something, something on the old swim. Man, that's what I'm talking. I'm telling you, that one that I caught was fighting like no other. Yeah. Working it slow. Okay, swim bait's been pretty fun, you guys, but I'm going back to the hoggy. I'm going to work the bottom a little bit more since I haven't been getting mad hits on that thing. And I'm sure this guy right here can bring in a hoggy. So, let's do it. Oh, got him. Second cast on the hog. Second cast on the baby hog. Hey, Christian, this one might help. There we go. There we go. Halfway decent one on the baby hog. Natural. Woo! This is probably the biggest bass of the day on the new hog. Baby hog doo 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 doo. Baby hog doo 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 doo. Wonder what this thing weighs, just out of curiosity. It's probably just a little over two, but uh, well, actually, it could be a little heftier. 16.25 inches. Ooh, yeah, okay. I thought it looked halfway decent in the water. It's two and three quarters. Yeah, two seven. <laughs> there we go. Two seven nine on the scale, boys. Almost a three pounder hard here on the hog. That was cool. Second cast after uh, setting those Guggen Bait Juniors down for a little while. Let's get that little release. Hell yeah. We had that hot swim bait bite for just a split second. Then I had been getting almost no hits for the longest time. And I said, you know what? It's time to go back to the smaller finesse stuff. Uh, you know, it's funny. I say finesse. This doesn't seem like a finesse lure to me just because it does have some decent size to it. But if you're talking about the trench hog or hog bait specifically, uh, this is definitely a smaller size. When you start dropping stuff down is when you consider it finesse. So I would call this the finesse hog. And that's what did it, man right off the bat and on the fall literally i almost missed that fish because it bit twice aggressively and it took me a second i had like a delay there i don't know if y'all caught that but i didn't re uh, crank down and set the hook very fast gives them opportunity to spit that bait out if they feel so inclined oh look like you had a good one well y'all we're wrapping things up we have circled this baby it has taken about four hours i got here about 11:30. It's closing in on 3.30 on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Almost no wind now. It's like, it's changed a lot. Thinking I might grab a bite to eat and then uh, get back out and do some more fishing later today. So, hit you guys with a recap here in just a second. All right, guys, and there you have it. A video on the brand new Guggen Baits Junior sizes, but also some larger sizes. Remember those drag and drops and slim shakes? Uh, everything has got a new size offering. I'm almost positive the Lunker Logs potentially not because they've already had a mixture of sizes, but uh, you guys have absolutely got to scoop some of these up. They slayed, and again, those junior sizes were catching when the traditional larger sizes weren't getting as many bites. Sometimes you just got to finesse it down. Anyways, guys, if you're not getting as many hits on the traditional sizes, or maybe you've never even tried Guggen Baits, I would say scoop up some of these smaller sizes. Tackle Warehouse, again, is where you can get them, and you'll be able to uh, probably gain a lot of confidence in these Guggen Baits. The reason I say that is because these smaller sizes should get more hits, but also some quality bites you saw us catch almost a three pounder just the first time we took them out to the local ponds on that new style trench hog which is probably going to be my new favorite i also need to get some of those dragon drops though because i think a larger dragon drop like imagine a dragon drop almost the size of a lunker log but with a little bit more flexibility in the tail rigging that up drop shot i think we're going to catch some really big fish on that new larger size dragon drop so be looking out for some more videos on these newer size guggen baits until then though don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one peace <gasps>